off again to New England this time to wage the hardest fight of the whole campaign. And in Boston, devoted to Alfred E. Smith, the governor gets an unexpectedly enthusiastic reception. And in the great convention hall, many thousands gather to hear the words of Paul from the lips of the man upon whose shoulders the mantle of the presidency is already visible. It is the climax of his campaign. Election day is at hand. In New York City, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred E. Smith make their way through crowds to their election district polling place. And if you observe closely, you will notice that Al is wearing his campaign war bonnet, the hat he made famous, none other than the Brown Derby. And we catch a glimpse, too, of Governor Roosevelt waiting for the return. And then election night in New York City. Surging crowds everywhere. Uproarious cheering as the news comes in early. Roosevelt has swept the nation, leaving little but the crumbs for the routed GOP. The smile of victory. But he was a pretty tired man, little as he showed it, and a dip in the pool proved invigorating. 